Let's solve these problems. Multiply the following integers. So let's start with 1, 5 times 3. So before we solve this problem, let's have first the rules in multiplying integers. So if we are multiplying like signs, that is if we have positive times positive, the answer should be positive. Also, if we have both negative, so negative times negative, the answer is also positive. While for unlike signs, that is if we have positive times negative, the answer is negative. Or if we have negative times positive, the answer is also negative. So in multiplying integers, we simply multiply first the absolute value of the numbers is regarding the sign and then follow this rule for the signs of the final answer. So for number 1, we have 5 times 3. So we have both positive, positive 5 and positive 3 like signs. So we expect our answer to be positive, right? But we need to multiply first the absolute value of the number. So 5 times 3, that will be 15. And since they are both positive, the final answer should be positive 15 or simply 15. Next for number 2, we have negative 4 times 7. So this time, we have negative times positive. So we need to multiply first the absolute value of the number. So 4 times 7, that will be 28. And since we are adding unlike signs, 1 negative and 1 positive, the final answer should be negative. So we have negative 28. For number 3, we have negative 6 times negative 8. So let's multiply first the absolute value disregarding the signs. 6 times 8, that's 48. So we have like signs which are both negative. So negative times negative, the sign should be positive. So therefore, the final answer should be positive 48 or simply 48. For number 4, we have 9 times negative 10. So let's multiply first the absolute value of the number. So 9 times 10, that will be 90. So we are multiplying unlike signs. 1 positive and 1 negative. So therefore, the final answer should be negative 90. For number 5, we have 1 times negative 3 times negative 4 times positive 5. So let's multiply the first two numbers, 1 times negative 3. So multiply the absolute value, 1 times 3, that will be 3. We are multiplying unlike signs, 1 positive and 1 negative. So the final answer should be negative. So we have negative 3 and then multiplying further by negative 4. So let's multiply the absolute value first. So 3 times 4, that will be 12. So we are multiplying like signs, both negative. So the final answer should be positive 12. Finally, let's multiply 12 by positive 5. So multiplying 12 by 5, that will be 60. So since we are multiplying like signs, both positive, the final answer should be positive 60 or simply 60. Now it's your turn to so try to solve these problems and just comment your answers.